There, why are we back at HCV New Drugs? I guess we were invited back to talk about Tilaprevir, a new drug to treat hepatitis C. Are you going to be quick this time, Bear? Yes, and I'm not a bear, and neither are you. We are both cats. Should I call you cat now and not bear? Yes, I think so. Okay, Bear, tell me about Tilaprevir. The drug is called Tilaprevir. That's what I said, Tilaprevir. On November 22, 2010, Vertex completed the submission of its new drug application for Tilaprevir to the United States Food and Drug Administration or the FDA. A response from the United States Food and Drug Administration regarding the company's request for priority review of the Tilaprevir new drug application is expected this month. Do you have a question, Kitty? How do I take this new drug? It's an oral drug or a pill. It is taken in combination with pegylated interferon and rebavirin. Isn't there any other drugs I could take? Yes. Bisepravir will also be available to use in combination with pegylated interferon and rebavirin. The protocol will be different than Tilaprevir and will be covered in the next video when we obtain more information. On January 6, Bisepravir received FDA priority review. The FDA's goal for completing a priority review is six months. Now we will have two new drugs to treat hepatitis C. In this video we will only talk a little about Tilaprevir and the cure rates. Have you ever been on treatment before? No, this is the first I will be treating hepatitis C. What are my chances for a cure? What is your genotype? I am a Leo with the genotype 1, why bear? In a trial called ADVANCE, 75% of people who never treated hepatitis C before with genotype 1 achieved sustained response with Tilaprevir combination, most with 24 weeks of therapy. What does sustained response mean? Sustained response means that the virus did not come back after 24 weeks after the end of treatment. Then why didn't you say that bear? Tell me more. I do want to mention that, if anyone watching this video needs more information please click on the link under us. You can look at all the results from the trials and obtain a better understanding. Bear, what about the people with genotype 1 and who have treated hepatitis C before? What are their chances for a cure? The realized trial was for people who had been treated before but did not achieve a viral cure. Please see the link for the complete breakdown of the study. Details of the trial looked at 662 hepatitis C patients whose bodies seemed to be resistant to all other treatments. The participants were divided in three groups. I'm still here, keep going. The people who responded to treatment but then relapsed during the follow-up period were put in the first group. Got it. First group. Patients who partially responded to treatment but whose virus never completely disappeared consisted the second group. Second group, got it. Well, patients who never responded well to treatment at all were a part of the third group. These three groups are considered difficult to treat. Okay, the third group of people have never responded to standard treatment. Keep going there. The total treatment period was extended to 48 weeks from the regular 24 weeks, as these patients have a form of the hepatitis C virus that is more stubborn or harder to treat. Just get to the bottom line bear. 65% of patients treated with Tilaprevir plus the standard of care were cured overall. Wow, that is great. Break down the different groups and tell me what the percentage was in each group. Dividing the results into the different groups, 86% of relapsers were cured after Tilaprevir treatment. It just gets better. Among the second group, the cure rate for the Tilaprevir treated patients was 57%. Let me do the big finish bear. Finally, in the last group which consisted of the most difficult to treat patients, Tilaprevir achieved a 31% cure rate. This is compared to the 5% cure rate seen in the trial for people who treated with pegylated interferon and rebavirin only, or what we call standard therapy. Yes, this is good news. What about the other genotypes? Before we go, can you tell us? The success rate for genotype 2 and 3 hinges on the success of the difficult to treat genotype 1 patients. The other two genotypes are easier to treat, and as expected the cure rate will be impressive. However, if you click on the link below me, there is a small study you can take a look at on genotype 2 and 3 patients who have never treated before. Say goodbye bear. Goodbye bear.